Hi guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at what is in my travel makeup bag. I recently went to LA, San Francisco, and British Columbia. I have vlogs for both of my California trips, which will be linked down below. But I wanted to show you what I had in my makeup bag and a quick look at what is in my toiletries bag. These are all products that I absolutely love because I don't really like to play around when I travel. I like to just bring the products that I know are going to work. If you'd like to see a video more specifically kind of zeroing in on tips for packing, there's a few things that I do to ensure that you're not showing up missing something or overpacking, things like that. Let me know down below, but let's go ahead and get started. Here are the three main bags that I took. I don't know if this seems excessive or not, but it's what I took. I have my brush kind of folder here. This is amazing. It's from e.l.f. and I don't think they make it anymore. I am so sorry for even mentioning it, but this is what I always use. There's a random Q-tip in there. Then I have my toiletries bag and then this is my makeup bag. I forgot to show you my lip product bag. I put those in a separate bag because they couldn't all fit in my makeup bag. So we'll go through this too. And let me just say, I don't know if it was the California weather, this combination of products or both of it, but I was so happy with everything that I brought. My makeup lasted all day. I was barely doing any blotting. I think I might've had something to do with the really great weather. It was just like not too hot, not too cold, but this routine did me so well. So this is the only primer I took. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. I mentioned this in my Best of Beauty 2017. Really love this. Not only is it easy and convenient in a stick format, but I really feel like it helps to mattify and smooth my skin. Foundation should be no real surprise. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro did me real well. Wore this the majority of the days, lasted so nicely. And then on days when I wanted a little lighter coverage, I went with the Smashbox Studio Skin. Again, good coverage, and I love that it had the cream contour on here. Really, again, kind of an ease of use thing, having that nice stick format. Another unsurprising item is the Tarte Shape Tape. Absolutely love this, incredibly long wearing. I find sometimes when I wear this concealer with foundations that aren't as long wearing, at the end of the day, my concealer is still completely intact and the foundation has worn away, so, so long wearing. And then and when I wanted something a little bit more lightweight, I went with the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Concealer. This is new to me and I decided to take it along with me and I really did enjoy it. I also brought this. It's the Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. Used this not very much, but I did have a lot of breakouts, so I brought it along to spot conceal. I didn't end up using it a ton because I wasn't like super concerned with covering up breakouts, but I did bring it. I kept it super simple for the brows, the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel, which some, day, some days I just wore that on its own because it has a nice color and hold, and then the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Be sure if you're taking a brow pencil with you that there's enough product in there. I've run into this product problem before, and like day two of a trip, my brow pencil runs out and you know, you gotta go get another one, so just keep that in mind. The mascaras that I brought with me, the Tarte Tartist along with the Maybelline Total Temptation. The Maybelline one is newer to me, but I loved it so much that I wanted to take it with me, a great volume, and the Tartist one adds a ton of length, so sometimes I use them in combination, sometimes separately, it just depended on the day, but they're both really good ones. I didn't wear much eyeliner or eyeshadow, but I have a mini of the NARS uh, Smudge Proof Primer, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers and then the Kat Von D tattoo liner one of my favorite liners I just find it so easy to use you could kind of consider this video a slight ride or die products as the Instain Balm blush is in here one of my absolute favorites in the shade Swiss Dot and then I also brought something a little bit more neutral which is Tarte Seduce and I used sometimes I use these together and sometimes separately I love the way that this looks all over the cheeks and this one as well but I really do like the way that this looks all over the cheeks with a little pop of this on the apples for highlighters, I have an old favorite and a new favorite, the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. I loved this one, especially because of that split pan. I've said it over and over, but I truly love this for a really natural look. If I didn't want to glow like crazy, this was beautiful, great in combination. And then Laura Geller Gilded Honey, one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And it's good because it's tightly packed and I feel pretty comfortable traveling with it. One of my favorite bronzers and most used bronzers is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in 30M. As you can see, this is very well loved and used. This I really, really love so much. It was from Smashbox Holiday Collection for 2017. I wish that they made this all the time. I guess you could probably find these products separately or maybe in some other palettes. But this was so good. I love this powder for setting under my eyes. I use the blushes sometimes. I didn't really use the highlight. It's a little pearly for me, but I use those products too. I debated just taking this palette, but I ended up taking the other bronzers and blushes because I'm excessive, but I could have totally just used this one. It's a really nice palette. I wore eyeshadow 
once. I don't know why I bring eyeshadow on vacation. I always do and I almost never wear it. Especially, I don't know, I just never wear it. I was going to say especially when it's like a warm weather vacation. It doesn't matter. I don't reach for it. But I did bring the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. This is the dupe for the uh, Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. I have a video comparing the both, them both. And this is great because it has all the shades in there that I want, but I don't feel like it's going to get dirty like the Anastasia palette does. And if it breaks, it's like a $5 palette, more replaceable. But the quality is amazing. I did just notice however that it did crack in transit I didn't notice that I'm just unpacking my bag here now as I show you but it's it's still fine I have three powders here the first here in the middle is the Mac studio fix powder foundation I use this alone as a powder foundation uh, to set my makeup some days when I wanted more coverage so again another nice double duty product the covergirl outlast all day I find this has great mattifying effects one of my favorite powders drugstore or high-end so I used this uh, to set my makeup and I did have it in my bag for touch-ups but I didn't really reach for it and then I also brought the Color Science Mineral Powder kind of fa um, sunscreen, and this has an SPF of 50. I know a lot of people don't believe in this kind of thing, but I'm not putting liquid found li liquid sunscreen on my face midday unless I'm bare face. So I did use this to touch up throughout the day. This was by far my most used lip product. It is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. I really love this. It's gigantic, and I didn't really get it. I was like, why is this so huge? Like it's. It's really big, but I actually really, really loved it. It was just nice and hydrating, super easy. My boyfriend used it too, and it was just, I've really been enjoying it. My second most used lip product was definitely the Fenty Gloss Balm. Really easy, beautiful look on the lips. I can see why people are so obsessed with it. And then I also brought the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. I I think I wore this twice and it was just a really nice way to have like kind of a statement item because the rest of my makeup was pretty simple most days. So I never ever 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 travel without Kat Von D Lolita, my absolute go-to. Then I have Wet n Wild Nudist Peach. This is a light shade but paired on top of this or with a lip liner I do enjoy it. And then I have High Drama from MAC. I wanted something super deep. Another lipstick that I love a lot is Kat Von D Mother in the lipstick formula as opposed to the liquid lipstick, but I think this was limited edition, so I don't mention it very much, but it's just a really beautiful kind of muted pink. And then for a lip liner, I brought a number 40 from Bite Beauty. I only brought one lip liner because it's just kind of a slightly deeper than my lips shade and works with everything. It's like three days later, I'm editing and I realized I did not include my Dyson. I have never traveled with a hair tool ever in my life. I'll either let my hair air dry or just use one of those crappy hair dryers in the hotel room. But I had to bring this because it just, it's like a huge part of my hair routine now. It dries my hair, no joke, in under 15 minutes, sometimes around 10, and I'll let the rest of it, just the little, little bits that aren't dry, let that air dry. I know it's expensive, but if you have the money or if you have been curious about it, especially if you have curly hair, like I've loved the results that I've gotten with the with this um, attachment as well, the diffuser. I am just so incredibly impressed with this. So I just, I wanted to, to mention this because it's monumental that it came on this trip with me. <laughs> a little bit of a hassle to bring it along, but if you're used to traveling with hair tools, it won't be any different. But for me, that was new. I was about to get into my toiletry stuff and realized I had two more things to mention. This is the Essence Instant Matte Setting Spray. I'm not totally sure how much this did for me. I did like it, but I primarily brought it because it's in such a small bottle. And then whenever I travel, for the most part, I'm wearing my my SE Gel Couture's Perfect Posture, which is this blue shade here, is my favorite shade to wear because it's like a neutral, but it's kind of interesting and I don't get bored of it wearing it for a bunch of time. And then the top coat as well. These just wear so, so nicely. I didn't redo my nails until like 10 days into the trip. So I don't want to go over everything that's in my toiletry bag because it's going to take a really long time, but I wanted to mention a few things that I did enjoy on my trip. So in case you were wondering, I do still use the Bosha Jelly Ball Cleanser. I have a full review on this. This is just a literal jelly ball and it's easy. I store it in a Ziploc bag or you could also get like a, a soap dish kind of thing and travel with it like that. And it's just really convenient because it's not a liquid and it's a charcoal cleanser so it's good for my oily skin. For my daily SPF, I was using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It has hyaluronic acid in there, SPF 15. 
pretty lightweight. I found it did have a slight white cast on my skin, but it just kind of melted into my skin and I was wearing makeup every day anyways, and it was really nice under makeup. I had a mini from a holiday set, I believe, of the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I have another kind of deluxe size sample of this that I've also been using at home. Really like it. Again, I've talked about this before, but I have started incorporating oils into my skincare routine, and I only use this at night, but it's really nice and lightweight. Doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And then I also brought this Kiehl's mask. It's turmeric and cranberry. It's an energizing radiance mask. So what I really liked about this is it had like little bits in it there for exfoliating. It felt kind of creamy, but it didn't feel too hydrating on the skin. And I didn't really have any kind of clay masks to bring with me that I would typically use. So this was a good seven for that. I always find hair care for me is the hardest when traveling because I use a lot of conditioner and products. So these kind of things from Mark Anthony are great because Normally, if you're a regular human, you just get to use this and throw it out. I, however, brought it back home with me so I could show you. But it's the Marc Anthony mask. So this one is the ultra nourishing conditioning treatment. This one is the ultra hydrating. And these are just so convenient because they're small. And that way you don't have a container or a big container or a travel thing that you need to bring back with you. Speaking of empty products that I brought back across the country with me. I have the Face Shop Solution Soothing Face Mask along with the Tony Moly I'm Real Sur Sur Surfine. What? Seaweed Mask Sheet for Skin Purifying. I really liked both of these. Again, sheet masks are a great easy way to have a skin treatment while you're out of town and something that's super easy that you can throw out unless you want to bring it back home and film about it. I find a lot of the travel products that are available are always moisturizing and hydrating. So this one I definitely wanted to point out. They are the Yes to Tomato Clear Skin Detox Charcoal Facial Wipes. And I didn't really use these to remove makeup necessarily. Sometimes I used it after I washed my face. Sometimes I used it in the morning if I didn't want to fully wash my face. And first of all, they're black, which is super cool. I think I have one left. I had, I didn't use them all. So I don't know if you can see, I don't want to take it out all the way, but it's black. So I, I liked that. I thought it was cool, but at the same time, I'm used to like seeing makeup come off my face onto a cloth, which you couldn't see as much with this, but I didn't really use them for makeup wipes anyways, but they are a really nice option uh, if you do have a more oily skin type. Another hair item I forgot to mention is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner from OGX. This is a really good size for me because normally conditioners are so small. So this was actually a suitable size for me to take with me. Then the British Rose Instant Glow Body Butter. I love these mini body butters for vacation. I especially love the British Rose one. It does have a slight shimmer in it. Nothing overdone or crazy, but just something to keep in mind. But I love the British Rose scent but they come in a ton of different scents and you only need a small amount because it is that thick body butter texture and lastly I want to mention this for two reasons first of all it was just so handy to have it in this little container really comfortable to use it doesn't feel small or awkward but I recommend if you do any traveling just to pick one of these up and put it in your kind of travel bag or whatever it may be because it's so convenient that way you don't need to worry about bringing your razor for getting it in the shower or anything like that. So I was really impressed. This is the Venus Gillette and I used the full size of this so it was nice to have this little mini kind of convenient travel container. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if any of the products I mentioned are your essentials and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jean YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!